another video for the engineer and today I'm going to discuss on how to trigger Tilda merge in HANA database so I'm not going to discuss in details of course because I discuss those things in my regular training session so I will be just quickly showing you in just two minutes how to trigger the Delta merge and uh, you know like and how you can see uh, you know when the Delta merge is triggered so all these things so first you need to log into HANA studio so you can just go back to your HANA studio here so I've just gone to another schema here. So my schema is your uh, sys underscore statistics is the schema and under that this table is having you know like you can see if you go to this table information here you can check the runtime information here and whenever you are going to trigger the delta merge ensure your delta area is large because whenever your delta area is raised to a particular size then the system merge the system triggers the delta merge automatically based on the uh, cost functions you set in the system. Okay, so now you can see the memory consumption of your main storage is 25 to 11 is KB and this is your 4062. So uh, in case I set as you know like 4 MB as my cost function or the method that I calculate so if Generally if there is a delta area is more than 1 GB or nearly 2 GB then it triggers the merge but at this situation I am going to trigger the merge right now because this is the highest delta area for my table so just I click on here you can go into this this is, you can do this perform the delta merge here just click on this and this will be going to the perform uh, the delta merge so based on the because this is your manual merge so there are multiple kind of merge we have like auto merge and smart merge and also hard merge and critical merge so those kind of things you can explore these things you can read by yourself so when you trigger the delta merge right so you can see so once this merge is triggered now you can see that is gone because it is just now merge you can see this one the last merge date is just now March 30 today 5 28 pm you know like so that's the other way you can trigger the delta merge you can also trigger the delta merge from hana cockpit guys if you want to log into hana cockpit so i've just already logged into the cockpit right now so you log into the tenant db because Mostly the delta merge is generally for your tenant database since your tables are part of that and of course for the delta merge triggering you need a table admin privilege. So now let me just check in HANA's cockpit how I going to do that. You can just go to the table distribution list you can see the what are the tables available in your system. So you can just go this option here so you can see all these tables are there. So in the table you can see the memory size here you know like you can see all these options here. So the schema name, you know, and your in memory size and so all this information that you can see. Suppose I want to trigger for one of the table. You can see you also click on the analysis here. You can also see the, you know, the graphical things in the HANA cockpit. So here <coughs> you can see the in memory size or you can see the disk size. So I will be seeing the in memory size because your delta merge is an in memory function. It has nothing to do with your disk. Okay. So I'll just go with the C tables, so it will be showing me the C tables. So yeah, so you can see this one right now. So in case I'm going to trigger the merge for any of the table here. So suppose I'm going to run it for this one. you can see this one you can just run click on the table and you can just see the memory uses of the table if you want to see the delta area you can just see this information here so you know what is the information in memory size date range so other than that you can also see you know like if you want to see the metadata that is also possible you want to see the table definitions everything will be included so I will be just triggering the merge here so the action of the okay so i'll just click on yes here and you can see this is going to be triggered right now so once this is much you can see the information okay so this is the way you can trigger here you can see the information also uh you know or you can also specify the schema name here whichever the schema you want to do suppose i'm going to do again i'll trigger so suppose I'm going to do for the sys schema schema, I'll just select only one schema here. And if I have the table name, I'll select one of the table name here. <coughs> so you can just execute like this. Okay, so 
<clears throat> the objective is you need to see that you know like how many you know like what are the tables you have and what is the delta area so based on the delta area generally you set the you know the value otherwise you know like so based on the delta area so based on i'll select all some other schemas here so the entire game is of the table so how many tables are there which is having of delta large delta areas so based on that you just need to click on here and you need to trigger the delta merge here okay so that way you can check so okay all right so this is the thing you need to check and also in case you want to run the merge for particular table so there is a function that also you can enable or disable for particular table suppose you want to disable the smart merge for one of the table so you can use the sql statements and by using the sql statement you can easily disable this one so also for your you know like normal tables like suppose some of the tables you want to disable the you know the auto merge or the smart merge because both the merge you don't set up either you set auto merge either you set smart merge or sometime you need to also go for the critical merge the system automatically does that you want to go for hard merge you need to select the force or force rebuild is on so there is a commands i'll just quickly show you the commands so you guys can go through it so you can just if you want to select it uh, you know merge for a particular table you can just trigger this merge delta of a table name and also if you want to change one of the table status you know like you want to disable some merge suppose i want to disable the auto merge so alter table or you know disable auto merge so these are the things you need to remember the commands and delta merge is very critical guys in terms of your day to day operation because you know like in your normal situations this helps a lot because the delta memory if your delta area is more and delta merge is not triggered that will cause uh, you know like issue with your system there will be significant performance issue and that's the reason into ensure that your tables are properly partitioned and your delta merge is happening regularly if it is failing you need to troubleshoot why the delta merge is failing there are multiple reasons for the failing of delta merge so thank you for watching this video guys and if you have any further uh, queries and if you have any questions related to this you can comment in the you know the chat section so i'll just try to answer it and also i have uh, you know like i'm starting the hana and basis training from 6th april so in case anyone is interested you can also message on 8466880880 and also you can buy the membership plan you know like a 4 year engineer you can just check uh, my post in social media instagram and linkedin and other platforms and also in youtube channel and based on that you can connect our team so thank you for watching video guys and thank you for watching the video and have a great evening